Well, after getting home and seeing my brother brothers were messing with me, this is what I come home to. This is crazy. I don't know that I've ever seen it this bad. Everything is a sheet of ice. And it's almost scary to drive down the gravel roads. Like I, the highways are okay because they've been salting them, but the gravel is hoofed up. Luckily, we still have power, but there are, when I was driving home last night, from Jamestown on in for like an hour, nobody had power. All the lights were out everywhere. Every once in a while you saw one guy with a generator running, but everybody's out of power. The wind is staying down and I think it's supposed to warm up a little bit today. So I don't think we'll lose power here at the farm. If we do, we got this big old generator that'll supply the whole farm with power. And I got a little one over at my place as well. But yeah, it like I was saying, it is almost scary to drive. I mean, I'll stop here. Here I'm hitting my brakes and we're just, now we're going this way. Yep, sliding downhill. Not moving, but we're moving. Still going. Oh, we're picking up speed again. Oh, goodbye pickup. Oh, I quit again. I saw videos, people were playing hockey in town on the streets. And I think I could get my skates out here if I had some. Just a layer of ice. Since we got all this ice, you know I gotta do it. I gotta try it at least once. Until I run into something. I do some cookies. Stupid traction control. There we go. You have to be so careful out here with everything. I mean, look at this. I think we have some serious ice buildup. That's dang near an inch thick. Woo! Any slant, you just, wee! Okay, let's see if I can get home the two miles now. Even with four wheel drive, it's like impossible to get around because ice is one thing, but then having wet glare ice is a whole nother ball game. Like right now, I'm not moving. Foot is on the brake and we're moving. Here's why driving the gravel road is more sketchy than the highway because the highway is all mostly flat. Gravel roads have like angles and stuff on them. Like here, this angle, the pickup just wants to slide down and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. And if you want to brake, that just seems to be worse. You have to idle everything stopped. You know, I honestly think the ditch might be a safer, better option. So we'll try this. Oh, heck yeah, that's way better. Okay, just out of my curiosity, is it possible to drive around in a two-wheel drive pickup? We're stretching a two-wheel drive. I mean, I guess we're moving. An hour. Now the next real challenge is gonna be getting my pickup up my driveway here. You know, I think I've come to conclusions that that is just not possible. Yeah, I think I'll be here a while if I just do this all day. That ain't gonna work. I need some salt is what I really need. What are the chances my landlord has some salt or de-icer around here? It looks like zero. Well, I found a car with the window froze up. Let's see if we can do the satisfying thing. It happened.
I did end up getting my pickup up here on the grass. But the driveway, I've deemed that impossible. I need snow chains on or studded tires maybe. I don't even know if studded tires would help at this point. But I gotta grab my computer here. It's the end of the year. I gotta get all the books all figured out and you know, taxes. Fun stuff, I love, love paperwork. I'm so sorry you guys had to deal with that video of just my brothers. That, it made me cringe watching part of it. At least we got the old bourbon inside her. She's nice and dry, no ice on her. You know how I was saying at least the power's not out or nothing like that earlier? I think I said that, right? Yeah, I spoke too soon on that. About an hour or so later it went out and we've been out since. But now I'm gonna go to bed. So I think I'm gonna shut it off here for the night. They say we're gonna be out all night. Hopefully they get it back soon. I know some guys have been out for two days now, I think, and they got probably four or five more to go. It's pretty bad in parts of North Dakota, that's for sure. Now I just gotta get walked down there without falling. Oh boy. It hasn't gotten any better out here. Whoa! Now just for some chance that they do get it back on, even though they called and said that they're gonna pull the cruise for the night. We're doing a little machinery shuffle so we can try and get this tractor out. Of course, we have it tucked up in the corner, basically, farthest from all the doors. You're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. I'll open the door, move the payloader like behind the 7R. If you take it out, you ain't her back in. With those tires, it get, you're gonna go down the hill as soon as you hit the ice. Yeah. These are these are racing slicks on ice, so. We're gonna go have a little fun. Oh, the cab is all clean. Oh man. Front end is sitting really low. <laughs> Did I ever mention this is my favorite tractor? Cause it is. If you didn't know, we were hit with an ice storm and we have like an inch of just solid ice over everything. It's melting. We're gonna hook up to the wishing disc right there. We're gonna disc the yard. Actually, we're gonna disc the ice to break it up in the yard to hopefully melt it. We got it up here to the shed now. Cause surprise, surprise, there's a flat tire on it. And we kind of set it down a little bit. Thank you. Now you can go and, this is on the concrete in front here. Now you can go with the bucket and scrape it all off. Chopped up real nice. Even on the gravel coming off. This is gonna work. The yard before he goes over it, just a solid layer of ice. So the wishing disc was working, but the problem is it's kind of kind of digging up the gravel a little bit too. When it refreezes, it's going to be really bumpy. You know, typically this time of year, we're pushing snow out of the yard or pushing the yard. I can't say we've ever tilled the yard this time of year. This is weird. Everything is just so slick. It is awfully nice out. I am out here in a t-shirt and I feel comfortable. And it's trying to melt it-ish, but I don't know that's really gonna happen. I'm gonna take the little mini garden tractor here once since it's sitting here so conveniently and try to push this walkway, get that scraped up so a guy can drive on that and then the front here. And then I might head over to my house and do the same. It just sucks not being able to walk anywhere you go. You have to be so careful. Kind of ish didn't work. 
Huh, it worked a little bit. He need chains, he can't get no traction on ice. You know, some sand and some salt would probably be the most ideal thing, but I got a feeling that it's almost impossible to get any of that in a very large square radius of me right now. So, we're gonna work with what we got, a disc and whatever else we can get stuff scraped up with. I'm gonna see once if I can't get some scraping done with the mini wheel loader here. Man, I don't think I could have put that bucket there more crooked if I tried. Oh, by the way, our power's back on. Here out all night. It came on around uh, 11-ish, I would say. So we were almost out for 24 hours, better than some people. I know they were out since Christmas and they're still out and they, the way it sounds, will be out for a while yet. So we got the luckier side of that end of things, I would, I would say. I did a little bit of back dragging by my house there. and Now I think I'll be able to get around with the pickup a little easier. I just gotta get it worked up a little bit more here. Yeah, it's back dragging seems to be the best, honestly. I got back to the yard and Cameron's running the Wishick disc in the yard all ripped up. But as he was saying earlier, it kind of leaves some bevels in the yard. And when that refreezes, it's gonna be a little rough. So I put on the 12 foot ride wide snow bucket. Now I'm just back dragging. We're leaving all the ice there and it's kind of just re-leveling it back out. But at least now it's not a sheet of ice. A guy can more than likely walk on it way better now. And you can actually come into the yard of the vehicle and actually stop without just sliding right into the shop. I don't know anyone that almost did that or anything, but yeah, that won't happen anymore. Let's test out our work here. Oh yeah, way better. That'll do. Now you can actually stop. Let's go see what dad's doing. So our township or county really won't do anything about our roads. They're just gonna leave them how they are. And if, I mean, we chose to live out here if we want them to be better, even though they should do something about it, they won't. If we want them to be better, better we gotta go out and do, do what we want to do. So that's what dad's out here doing. He's out here just giving the road a good scratch because now that he made that pass when you're driving you at least have some places that you can grab some traction and get going versus like driving here it's glare ice and I'm almost terrified to be on this road right now. So if we want to be able to drive our roads all winter like a normal human being that's what we got to do plus I'll help for the mail route to get through and any packages we have delivered and I'm thinking that most of the neighbors will appreciate it as well. So I'm not sure how much road he's gonna do. I know the neighbors north of us were kind of doing some of the same thing too. But that's what we got going on. Just playing in the ice storm, I guess. But man, look at that. One blade of grass can hold that much ice. Oh boy, the snow is a sheet of ice. Don't walk on that. We're gonna get the rest of the yard back dragged here again. A camera all has disked up. And then maybe scrape the front concrete here too. I think I'm gonna call today.